Hello, my name is Michael Keinrad from the APV Customer Service. Since 2022, the pneumatic seeders and the liquid fertilizer can be controlled from the ISOBUS terminals. This operating has been certified now. Today I'd like to introduce you the ISOBUS M2 and explain you the initial startup. With this button we reach the APV home screen. With the set button you come to the configuration menu. Hold the set button for 5 seconds to reach the submenu. Now you can select which APV unit you want to operate. In my case I have here a PS500 with electric fan and no seat rate calibration button. Save the settings with OK. This is the home screen. At the home screen you can see these buttons here. With this button we reach the diagnostic menu. Here we can see on one screen all equipped sensor on the PS. At the moment we don't have a linkage sensor, no speed, no radar sensor, no seat rate calibration button. We only have here a fill level sensor equipped. Below we can see the voltage. This is the software version of the ECU. And below we see the amperes of the drive shaft motor. With the escape button we can go one level back. This is the info menu. Here we can see the last drilled fields. This means we can see the working hours and the hectares. Below we see the total working hours and the total area. We can zero each field separately by these buttons. And with escape we can go one level back. This is the set menu. Here you can select all important settings. This is the tractor settings menu. Here you can select where you grab the speed. I have to choose here simulated. And here you can choose where you grab the linkage signal. I have no linkage sensor here, so I choose no. And go back with escape. This is the seated calibration button. Here you can enter your name of the used seat. You can also choose the kilograms per hectare, working with, driving speed. You can also choose here a picture of your used sewing shaft and below you can select the time of the seated calibration. This is the tank fill button. Here you can choose the alarm. Here you put in the kilograms which you put into your hopper and then you can see the remaining area and distance that can be spread with the filled seed. With this button we enter the seed library. Here we can save up to 20 different kinds of seed. Here we can turn the page. This is the pre-dosing menu. Here you can select automatic pre-dosing yes. Below we can choose the driving speed and time of the pre-dosing. TC or task controller. Here you can select all settings at the task controller such as mounting of the unit, front or back, center distance or switch on and switch off times. For more details see the Isoboss manual please. I choose here off because I have no task controller present. This is the empty button. You have to hold down this button for at least two seconds. Then the sewing shaft starts to run with 100% to empty the hopper of not used seeds. This is the fan setting symbol. When you have an electric fan like here, you can adjust the fan speed. I choose just 50%. If you have a hydraulic fan, you can select here minimum RPM speed and maximum RPM speed. Please have a look at the PS manual to find the right settings. This is the work menu. I will explain the work menu later more detailed. Filling of the hopper. With the first symbol you activate the alarm. 
here we can put in the amount we put into the hopper. Below you can see the calculated area and distance. You can also activate or deactivate the field level sensor here. To save a new kind of seed, press the seed library button. Here you can select on which position you'd like to store your seed. In my case, I have grass seeds. My output quantity is 12.5 kilograms per hectare. My working width is 6 meter wide and my driving speed is 8 kilometers per hour. Below you can select your used sewing shaft and here you can select the seed calibration time. Start the seed rate calibration by holding down the start button for two seconds. Weight the collected seed with the deliberate scale and enter the value in the terminal. Now you can see the speed range in that you can work. The lowest possible driving speed here would be 0.9 km per hour. The maximum driving speed would be 15.5 km per hour. This is just for this seed and for this sewing shaft which we have calibrated now. We save the settings with the OK button twice and then we enter immediately the working menu. With this button you can start up the electric fan. On the green marking on the edge you can see that the fan is working and below you can see the selected percent of the electric fan. Here you can start the sewing shaft. You can also see the green marking that the sewing shaft is moving. You can see sewing shaft in percent is shown here. You can adjust the output quantity by plus or by minus. Then you can go back with the 100% button to the calibrated value. You can see here also the working position. Green marked means that the PS is in working position. A yellow marked arrow up shows that the PS is in transport position. The sewing shaft is not moving. With this symbol we show the fill level sensor. If the hopper is almost empty, it changes the color into red. When you push the stop button, both motors, electric fan and drive shaft motor stop work immediately. The info symbol shows the seeded area and the output quantity from the selected kind of seed which is currently used. If something is chosen wrong on your PS in the configuration, Hold the set button for 5 seconds to reach the submenu. We can reset the PS by hold down this button for 5 seconds. So that was the Isopos Mark II. Thanks for your attention. If you have further questions to this topic, visit us at apv.at.